All right, so the other day we took a look at a problem uh, just like this one. And this was one of those problems that was a lot less math and kind of a lot more logic. Like there was one step to this, and that step was x has got to be equal to 12. And the reason that is is because x can't be anything else. I mean, if, if x is 5, then it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever to say like 5 to the 5th power equals 5 to the 12th because it just doesn't, right? It, it doesn't equal that. So it would have to be that x, or in other words, that variable right there has got to match the other side. And, you know, I love these problems that it's like it looks like it might be really difficult, but it's just kind of one step and it's done. And here's another one like that. Um, Man, we got logs everywhere, base 8s, 14s, and even an X. And it looks like, oh, man, this is going to be crazy. But it's just like the last problem. It's a lot of logic, but very little math. In order for this to work, X has got to be equal to 14. Okay, no other way around it. I mean, um, if X was anything else, then X just, you know, or excuse me, if X was anything else, then that equation just wouldn't work. You could not put anything else in place of x but 14. And that takes us to learning target 12, which is I can solve logarithmic equations. And there's a little bit of supplemental practice for you if you feel like uh, you'd like some extra practice. But what we're going to do is look at problems like, like this one right here, uh, kind of like the one that we just did, except maybe a little bit more advanced, but not too bad. Um, there's really not much logarithm stuff, logarithm, logarithmic stuff going. Just the way I said logarithm there was kind of weird. Anyway, that's why I laugh. And I'm a little bit tired, but that's besides the point. So on this one, not as much logarithmic stuff as logical stuff. Again, you notice that I've got, I've got this going on. Uh, the nines match, right? It's log of something equals log of something. and in order for this to work, uh, pretty much this thing has got to be equal to this thing. Those expressions have got to match in order for this to work. So in, in other words, what I'm looking at is x plus 4 is equal to 3x minus 12. Okay? And the beautiful thing about this is this was like one logical step, and now from here on down it's all algebra 1. I don't have to do anything else but just solve the equation. So I'll subtract x from both sides. And at the same time, I'm going to add 12. And I get that 16 is equal to 2x. So lucky me, that just means one last step of divide by 2. And then I'll swap sides and make this x is equal to 8. And what we want to do is we want to check our work here. Okay, Just like any other uh, equation, you want to check your work. But especially with logarithms, one of the reasons that you want to check your work is because uh, you want to make sure that you don't get any undefined values. And we'll take a look at what that might be. And I know that we discussed that in another learning target. But let's just really quick check 8 plus 4 is 12. So on the left side, I get log base 9 of 12. And on the right side, I should have moved this down probably a little bit more out of the way. And on the right side, I've got uh, 3 times 8 minus 12. Well, 3 times 8 is 24. 24 minus 12 is 12. So the right side is log base 9 of 12. So I know that it, it does match. And just for kicks, we're going to recall how to put this into the calculator. Log base 9 of 12. And that should get me 1 point, yeah, 1 and something, 1 and change. And in this case, 1.13. OK, so that doesn't look too bad, right? I mean, we just did kind of some simple Algebra 1 solution work. And, uh, and got an answer that, that works. So let's try it here. I'll give you guys some time. Right now, if you want to press the pause button and then do this work on your own, you can do that. Uh, what we're going to do is we'll just keep moving on, though. And let's go ahead and set x minus 3 equal to 2x plus 4, right? Not a lot of logarithm, but a lot of logic, which is to say in order for this to work, I know that 2x plus 4 and x minus 3 have to be the same number because everything else matches. So we'll just go ahead and solve this. Subtract x, subtract x, and then subtract 4 as well from both sides. 
and I get x is equal to negative 7. Okay, so that looks pretty good, right? Um, and, of course, we need to check our work. So, we'll... Oh, see, I made the same mistake. I didn't give myself enough room. So, what we're going to do is just say that negative 7 take away 3 should match uh, 2 times negative 7 plus 4. So, this becomes log base 5 of negative 10. And 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. Negative 14 plus 4 is also negative 10. So it looks like the answer is negative 7. And so we'll just go ahead and put that log base 5 of negative 10 in the calculator just for kicks, right? Log base 5, uh, negative 10. Whoa, I don't know why I did that. That was weird. But we'll make sure it's inside parentheses this time. And it, Okay, wow, that's, now I get a non-real calculation error. So that's kind of strange because I know that I'm in real mode on the calculator, uh, non-real calculation. It, so it looks like this is not going to work. And the reason being, if you remember, back when we first intro logarithms, is that uh, this right here is my problem, taking the log of a negative. right? Because what this is saying, this log represents an exponent. So I raise 5 to some power to get negative 10. And it doesn't matter what number you think of. Y you could get 5 raised to some power to get 10, but there's no power that you could raise 5 to to get negative 10. And the problem is really that sign right there. There's no power that I can raise anything to to make the power change from positive to negative. Okay, so if you put your... Uh, your answer back in the logarithm and you find that you're taking the log of a negative like we did right here with uh, with these two logs then that's bad okay so that in this case would lead us to an answer of no solution for now okay all right so just be good about checking your work on those